day of the Milan Design Week, my third vlog about design trends and what's going on in the world of design and in social design. Today we're at the uh, area around Via Tortona, which is uh, started as one of the hot spots outside the actual fairgrounds. And one of the obstacles that you always had to take to get to Via Tortona, for coming from the metro, was these huge stairs to cross the train tracks. I was dreading this. They're always packed. I'm always scared to death that I'm going to be trampled. Oh, I'm so relieved. They've closed the train tracks. So now we have to walk all the way around, which is much better, and see what uh, Via Tortona has in store for us today. <laughs> this is the project Breathe, a collaboration of Mini Living and the New York based firm So Il by the Dutch architect Florian Idenburg. It's a project about urban living, about flexibility, about a light footprint on the surface of the earth. It's built like a cocoon. It's made of transparent mesh. Uh, it's built vertically to not take up much space. You see that it's built in between two buildings here in this alleyway in Via Tortona at the Milan Design Week. And the idea is that if you live in a place like this, you're more in connection with your environment, uh, uh, fresh light, fresh air, and even a roof terrace. Lunchtime is always, of course, a pleasure in Italy. And uh, we found this lovely restaurant with a garden and uh, wisteria in bloom. And I'm sitting here having lunch with Sonna and with Baptiste. Oh, it looks delicious. <laughs> Lucky you. Enjoy! Buon appetito! So we're here at Moy. Hello, uh, and you're Marcel Wanders. Marcel Wanders. Hey, Marcel yeah, Wanders yeah. himself. How cool is that? <laughs> as cool as it gets. <laughs> uh, we have a presentation. We show uh, our existing collection in, in, a, in, a, in settings. So you really see how things work together. And we have our novelties. They are in the back of the space, so they're all around. Mm -hmm. um, I think what's cool about uh, what we do is that we really we were an old-fashioned design brand. Old-fashioned? We, 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 we really believe in, in the core ideas of design. We want designers to tell us what to do. We don't tell designers what to do. So You say, surprise me. So, so uh, Yeah, so we go to designers and we tell them, what can we do for you? Instead of telling them what they have to design for us. And that results in, in a collection where really there's a lot of vibrance, a lot of contrast. And 
and things are, are powerful. Um, I, I see a lot of brands which are, are consider themselves design brands, but it's it's strange if if they're design brands that stylistically all these things are together and and it's and then all, it's all it, more it, the same. It's all between gray and beige and. <laughs> I, gray and beige are not uh, your thing. <laughs> no, I, I, I love these. I love gray and beige, but at the end, if you're a design brand, I think uh, uh, you want to you want to show design instead of styling. Uh, you're and, fa you're uh, fantastic. I mean, yes, you're a designer, but you're also really talented at styling. And the presentations in Milan are always amazing. You told me just now that there were 50 people working on this installation, which is huge. The uh, entire two weeks before the show started. Yeah, we've we've been uh, we work uh, we work a bit. Yeah. I like it, Marcel. Also, because you're so undutch, <laughs> you go for it. Well, lucky me. Who did I run into here in the installation? Moy by Marcel Wanders, but Marcel Wanders himself. Oh, that was cool. And he told us about this uh, photographer of all these hugely magnified insects that are on the walls here. Uh, the name of the photographer is uh, Levon Biss, he's from London. He was not that well known, but you can be sure that he is now. His uh, animals are in every room of this installation, and Marcel Wanders is going to uh, make him famous all over the world, and rightly so, because they are really beautiful. by the magazine MacGuffin. Uh, they have themed issues sometimes about rope, sometimes about uh, windows, and this time at the Milan Salone 2017, it's about the sink, the kitchen sink and all sorts of sinks. Uh, the uh, issue itself is uh, a one big homage to the sink and all its parts, and here on the table they've taken the sink apart and shown every single piece that goes into the sink, both the sink itself, underneath, and all the stuff that you need to use the sink, such as gloves, pipes, tubes, garbage disposals, sponges, you name it. Okay, well, so that was the end of another day of long, hard work at the uh, Milan Design Week. Looking forward to our last day here, which is tomorrow. We'll be going to the Triennale in a park in the middle of Milan where they always have interesting exhibitions. Three down, one to go. Stay with us. See you tomorrow.